how come it is useful uh, it's to protect uh, our computer out of the virus series this is a, a control panel and uh, security so where we see the windows uh, firewall i have observed what is this firewall check the firewall status what is the firewall status see this it is a uh, something connected it is a public network it is not connected we are connected with uh, some private network home or private network we, which we are connected uh, generally manangani hotspot on this first password even then first to the line of winner i play now so we want to connect with the public network or private network any uh, dialogue box so our dialogue box some mention so see here what is a windows uh, firewall status uh, state on and incoming connectors are block all the connectors to the program which are not listed in the allowed programs so the active home or network is i am using our college sir crre ngg college so notification state is notify when the windows firewall block a new program for example any program which we are installing something for example uh, which is not related sir something we were blocked in that particular uh, a domain so for example we are using this uh, uh, this network some of the websites are some of the things are blocked it is not going to be issue once it is identified then definitely it is going to be notified okay so what is that what is what and so for example see that so it is not connected with but its firewall status is okay so whenever it is connected so now the see that active public uh, networks are none whenever it is connected so how it is a home network or public network means so if you remember when you are connecting the computer with uh, wifi or hotspot whatever it means when you are connecting one dialog box will be appear in the starting so do you want to connect with the home network or private network or public network three options will come which one we selected so we are uh, myself i selected as a sir uh, crr ngc as a uh, home and work as a private network okay like that it is going to be shown and uh, uh, what is uh, this windows firewall can protect the hackers or miscellaneous software from gaining to access your computer to the internet or a network so whenever i am going to be connect with my system whether internet or we are simply we are going to be connecting with the lan connecting uh, data i am going to be transfer from one system to another system that time also it is going to be protected. so some unwanted malicious uh, things so that is uh, uh, hacking things are going to be come into the system the wall will be stop okay <laughs> see that so what are the applications it allows see that apache http server is allows and core networking and exe files it is allowing and we do want to share uh, all the things so how it will be enable means whenever you are going to be install any application or any software it is going to be asked uh, just simply we are giving a uh, permissions to every application no, which we are installing in uh the mobile so same way here also see that what are the things are enable in a public network what are the things are enable in a private network see the here in a public network we are not able to uh, see the fccc exe file and the file and uh, pointer sharing is not enable so if you want we want to uh, con uh, confirm it how it will be means this is a general default settings if you want you can check uh, click it and we can go for uh, like that also so when you get the permission then only it is if it is not get any proper permission it is not going to be get access this one so these are the uh, things uh, going to be do in the firewall so what it will do means so generally how to uh, see the firewalls means in the system so you see this if you see the uh, icon also here the wall with the uh, globe that is the internet so our network whatever it is it is going to be protect how it is going to be protect okay so that is the thing so now we will go to our topic what is a firewall so see here 
I mentioned one diagram. See that the wall with uh, fire, and we are going to be protect that. Lock is uh, it is, is uh, meaning is a security. So we are going to be protect the security. So when the data wants to enter into your uh, system, so what is the user this uh, firewall we are going to be discuss. So and what are the various types of firewalls are there? So this is a total outlook of uh, today's class. So firewall design principles. So firewall characteristics and types of firewalls and how to we need to configure firewalls and the trusted systems, data access control, and the concept of a trusted system, and Trojan horse uh, defense. So this is the, one of the antivirus of Trojan horse. How it we, uh, we have a defense means a general, how we are going to be follow the laws and all those things, how it is uh, accessing all those things we are going to be The first one is uh, most uh, thing we are going to be known about, what is a firewall? So effective meaning of protection, a local system, are a network of systems from network-based security threats while affording access to the outside world via LAN or the internet. So when your system is connected, so again and again, I'm going to be tell the same meaning. Once you are connecting with internet, so you are uh, hands given up to the hackers. My data is open. So if you have a, a guts, you can, can have my data. So, what type of uh, security, what type of things we are going to be covered? Based upon that, we are going to be uh, protected. So, if we want to do a better security, we are going to be using antivirus software or how we are going to be treated. Mm -hmm. So, once your uh, system is connected to the internet or your mobile is connected to the internet, you are simply saying that my data is open to all. So, if you have a so that's when they told, sir, what they are going to be doing with my day. So I already told that when you are going to be notified that when you are going to be attacked. So everything in the network is going to be identified as hackers. So how the patterns is going to be, how the things is going to be done, so, uh, how the patterns is going to be, how the packets is sending. So every pattern is going to be identified as hackers. So once you know that when you are uh, have been attacked, means once the hacker is changing or something is done the modification, then only you notify that you are under attack. So here the thing is, uh, we need to protect our system better. So what are the unwanted person, another other persons should not enter into your system to get your data and your should not change your personal data that we are sending to the others. So how much protection we are going to be given? So that means so effective means of protection means uh, local system or a network of system from network based security threats while affording the access of outside world via via WANs are important. So Whatever it is, two things we are going to be talking about this internet, how we are going to be access to the rest. So, normal uh, design principle. The information system undergo a steady evaluation from a small land to internet connection. Small land to simply how we are going to be connected your system to another system via land here. There is also we are going to be transfer the data from one system to another. That is also part of the network. One your system is going to be connected with the internet, so there's a worldwide web. Then that is also known as large thing. So whatever things you are going to be get access to this internet. So that is the small lines to internet connection. So information system undergoes a study evaluation. So how we are going to be doing it. Strong security features for all workstations and servers not stop this. So strong security features for all workstations and servers do not establish this property. So we, we should not trust it. Uh, how, for example, if we are something we are going to be access to the internet, how much we want to know that whether it is a trusted server or not, 
that we need to identify. So that is the most uh, of uh, uh, the antiviruses are going to be taken. A major role. So whether it is a trusted data, so even if you sometimes you are identified, so the the, the main list is uh, something uh, not relevant to that. Is it the spam? So how it is going to be identified as spam? So how it is related to that? For example, you are uh, in the domain of, uh, for example, India. So if you don't have any other internet connectivity, any other possibility to get the others. Uh, a mail which may have a private link. So that time it is notified that it is a spam mail. So some of the mails are going to be identified and they keep it in their uh, server. Whenever it is going to be attacked or identified to your personal system, the server will notify. So it is, if everything is identified, there is no need or no problem with that, no need of antivirus. But it is always need to be updated. So by that only we need to uh, secure or safe our system without uh, uh, virus. So firewall design principles. So again, let's continue. The firewall is inserted between the premises of network and the user. Premises of network and the user. So we are going to be placed on a wall in between the system and the internet. So the system may be connected with the inter, uh, uh, that is a common internet that is a network key or maybe a personal system also we can so anything. For example, so total our CLR and the engineering college network may have one firewall. So inside every system which we are going to be access, every system have a firewall. So how we are going to be done? So for example, we are going to be accessing maybe one server system will be there. So there the server system may have a firewall. So there we are going to be uh, giving a list which are the things we can access here, which are the things we are not going to be access or those things they are going to be different. Then the aim is establish a controlled link. So how we want to establish the all other switch controlled link and protect the premises of networks and internet based attacks. So most of them, most of things we know that uh, major attacks is going to be, major uh, uh, virus is going to be attacked through the internet, that is when we are connecting with the network. So it is going to be protected that, so that uh, in that particular premises, what are the uh, accessible data it is going to be established on access to data is going to be stopped. So provide a single choke point. So what is the single choke point is? So for example, every system is must be connected. So for example, your system is not going to be connected with a particular one, one single network. It's always changing some other. For example, if I am in the college, I am going to be search here and here, I am going to be uh, Wi-Fi, I am going to be used. If I am going to go home, I am going to be used some other private network. Or I am going to be used my mobile network. So when the network is going to be changed, but it is going to be provided a single point. For example, every single system is going to be get a firewall protection. That's why I show some of the list of things uh, which are going to be accessed in the public network, which are the things we are going to be accessed in the private network or the general network of one station, how it is going to be different. So what are the characteristics of these firewalls? So what are the characteristics? It is a simply general design tools. So all traffic from inside to outside must pass through the wall, physically blocking all access and the local network support via the firewall. So we are going to be physically block all those things. So which are so every for example every domain must pass through the wall. So every data which we are receiving from the uh, servers. That is also we must pass through the that is a wall, the firewall. So that is the all traffic from outside to inside to outside must pass through the firewall. So if the data must be passed through it. So only authorized traffic defined by the local security authorities which allows to pass 
So which are the things in the, the dialogue, which are the things that is which we are defining. So in the next uh, upcoming slide, we will see the how to configure this. We will see what more about that. So only authorized that is means only authorized uh, things we can access to this network through this firewall. Then the firewall itself is immune to presentation use of a trusted system via secure operating system. So the firewall itself is to immune uh, presentation use of trusted system to a secure operating system. So how we are going to provide a secure so immune penetration. So use of a trusted system to a secure operating system. So that's why I told you that is a single system have an individual firewall. So we don't know which network is going to be only there. So from the system that, for example, every day we are going to be using the same network. So how much we are going to be user protection? So how we are not going to be, uh, use the other systems? So by that we are uh, every that is uh, firewall settings and characteristics is going to be take care about the fire, uh, operating system. That is it. so that's only I have shown you in the control panel. Control panel is going to be part of. Operating system settings on simply we can call operating system settings. So that is the thing. So four general techniques are server service control and direction control and user control and behavior control. So these are the two controls we have. So one thing is a service control. Determine the types of internet service that can be accessed inbound or outbound. How we are going to be control service control we are going to do. so internet services how we are going to be do and then another one is about direction control recognize the direction in which particular servers requests are allowed to flow which service request is service requests are allowed to flow or not so for example we are the domain search domain we are going to be uh, uh, for example, whenever you are going to be type something, for example, if the firewall is a block of traffic, what is that? You are unable to access this one. So access control is block, something it is going to be shown in the So such type of direction control also it is going to be given a protection. So not only come from how to block the uh, data from the server side, it is going to be blocked from the user side also. So something we are going to be do the request we are going to be sent. Always it is going to be sent. How to so determine the types of internet service that can be accessed in the So determine the direction so that is a uh, client uh, client server request. That is then the user control. Control access to a service according to which users to attempting to access it. Control access a service, a service according to which the user is attempting to access it. So how to access that particular thing? A behavioral control. Control flow, how a particular service is used, for example, filter email. So just now I told you. So some of the uh, unwanted resources may uh, try to, for example, if you will see that, uh, you got a uh, one crore price money, please provide your details. So, in such type of uh, un, uh, unpredictable uh, emails you are going to make. So, how we are going to do the email filtering also, we are going to uh, provide one of the characters and subscribe. Then, the next another one, most important thing is uh, what are the types of firewalls? So, where we are going to be protect and uh, what type of firewalls we are going to be using? Three common types of firewalls are there. One is packet filtering brokers, then application level matrix, and compute level matrix. So, packet level means the low level we are going to be transferred. So, whenever we are going to be transferred, the data, the data should be transferred via bit or via packet. So, the data terms, packets. So, the packets is the uh, final stage of. So bounding the data. So that is the representation of bit data gram, data gram to so packet. No? 
So that is the packet. So that packet we are going to be consuming. For example, uh, for example, we are uh, something we are going to be ordered it. So what they are going to be basic level what they do. So for example, if you ordered something for so what they are going to be doing. So they are going to be assembly like car and they are going to be uh, sent to the some other person. So the person is going to be assembled all those things and he is going to be picked for whether it is running or not. That is the data card. Then the packet means so it is everything is okay, they are going to be on the back. So once it is a pack ready, the pack is ready to pass on that. So how does it going to be used the information about where to where? So that is the center and figure. So how does this concept how the regular flow of data is transferring into manual? The same manner only it is going to be transferred to the digital. So the packet. So the packet is ready with then the router means here the router means sending and receiving. So general packet how means so we are we are going to be put it as a source destination address, source address and destination address from where it is coming and where it is going to go. Then the application level gateway means in the top level of the network which we are going to be installed an application which we need to uh, create. Or develop a data. For example, what is the application layer functionality? How you remember? So it is provided the email services and it provides the SNTP, MMTP, and POP. All those things, mail services is going to be provided by the application. So where we are going to be, for example, if I want to use an application, for example, I want to do some mail. So what I am going to do, whether we are going to use the mail, whether we are going to be used with email, whether we are going to be used some other mails which we are going to be used. So if you want to use a Gmail, what I want to do? So to the browser, I want to access a particular www.gmail.com. Domain I need to use. So if it is an one application which is already installed in the server. So through the web the line, we are going to be accessed at that. So the type of gateways are also provided. Then the secure level gateways. So uh, once we are going to be connected with uh, any uh, device, for example, if you inserted any uh, um, plug and play, removable hard disk or removable pen drive shift or so whether it is going to be identified that whether uh, uh, data is accessible or not. So, Broston has to be uh, another thing. It is what we have to do. So, the three levels the packet level, application level, and circuit level. So, low level, middle level, and top level. How we are so, so, first one is about get filtering uh, process. So, packet filtering process. So, see this. So, we have a network, internet user, and a private network. Private network. So, security primitive. Uh, Primitive, so how we do the packet filtering process. So it is going to be penetrating with one packet whether the packet is accessible or not. The packet is contained to uh, proper data, it is miscellaneous data is there or not, it's going to be packing better. So through the what is the packet level, we are going to be doing a protection to the data. So that means whether it is going to be coming from, for example, sender and destination address could be there. So simply we can sender and destination address means come, for example, uh, where from where we are going to be getting. For example, if I am going to be download something for that something to do. So Google server, I am going to be so Google is searching in and going to do, I am going to be uh, download one image. So I must access what the from there it is going to be uh, request. Where it is request and where it is response. So all those information is contained at the point. So that information is to be new and it is going to be new the proper routing for the packet filter process. So so where it is coming, where it is stored, everything is going to be secure. Then what is it the main goals of this one? Applies a set of rules each incoming IP packet, so that is a incoming IP packet and forwarded to the discarded to the packet. Are discarded a packet. So IP address is going to be separate. So some of the rules are going to be covered also. Whenever we know that what is the meaning of uh, IP address means what is a protocol? So protocol. So internet protocol. What is a protocol? Set of rules governed by the network. We know the number. So if IP address packet is there, so we will have some of the rules which is governed by the network. So the protocol should follow this. So whether we want to forward or we want to discard. So 
so it will be for the particular file that is to be accessible or not if it is accessible it is forwarded and it is not it is going to be disabled so filter packet is going to be both directions so both directions you know and the same thing is it so whether the request is proper or not and whether the response is proper on both side is going to be both directions so we saw the direction control so there is going to be both direction the packet filter is a typically set up as a list of rules based on base on the access to the fields to the ip address address so we know that uh, every packet must have some ip address if the ip address is there what is the meaning that means it has an header header should contain the details about the sender and receiver so in a normal network without the internet just we can sending the data packet in place of condition is not to be once we are going to be transferred to the uh, internet console so definitely we need to check about we need to talk about the data uh, security also so that only we need to uh, identify that the tcp ip but so i told you the tcp ip when it is came to be whenever we are accessing the data from the outside of the world or we are sending the data to the outside of the world so that is outside means it is not from your system to another system for example if you are securely connecting with your system to another system via LAN cable so who is going to be entering between the no one so that we just simply we are going to be exchanging the IP address we will change the data from one system to another system for that also Again, the data must transfer through the firewall. So, so firewall where it is installed, every firewall is going to be set up by the operating system. So, through IP address. When we want to check the data with uh, header, each and every TCP or IP or whatever, it, every data should have a header. So, the header information also it is going to be filtered properly done or not. So the default policies are default policy and discard are followed. So only two things are there: whether it is accessible, then it is forwarded; when it is not accessible, it is not forwarded. So that is the two. So advantage is simplicity and transparency to the users and the high speed. And disadvantage is difficult to set up a packet through the rules and lack of authentication. So these are the disadvantages. So we should not. Uh, uh, so that the every packet of code is going to be there. So that the setup we need to make that is somewhat difficult. And we have to know the lack of authentication. So what is the meaning of authentication? Is so that the, uh, who is the owner of the particular uh, data? So that is the authentication we need. We have lack in this culture. Then possible to attack and uh, appropriate uh, counter counter measure groups. IP address should be so source routing attack, any bad attack. These are the three attacks which are going to be possible in this packet filter router. Packet filter router, what are the types of attack made possible? Is IP address smoking. So that is we are going to be change, trying to change the IP address. So we are unable to access IP address. So for example, if you want to transfer one system to another system data via IP. Uh, so that is a simple LAN cable. So both sides we are going to be inside the LAN cable. So where we have to. So for example, your system may connect with some other internet. Another system may connect with some other internet. So how we want to access. So may possible to do some IP address uh, smoking problem. So that is uh, definitely, for example, uh, for this, uh, simply, I think if you Gone through some network uh, uh, programs that is Charlie's uh, uh, feeling. No? So, how to connect with one server to another server or one client to another client? So, if you want to share, so A system IP address should enter into the B system and B system IP address should enter into the A system. So, when the IP address is going to be properly checked, then only we can transfer through the IP address one system to another system via LAN cable. So source routing attacks. So the most attack from source uh, when the source address is going to be affected, and any fragment attacks. 
October I lost most of my life. The fact that May, Pandit, which time it is, which way is simple and which way is long. So based upon the nature and entry packet, it's going to be our different flows. And finally, it reaches to the destination. So again, it is going to be arranged and all the things we will discuss how it is going to be arranged. So there we are going to be all of some minimums coming into the IDA. So travel salesmen, all the things we discuss in letter. Uh, service to be a discussion. So that is the out and down. So how we are going to become again uh, the data with player of the jars and the data post to host and post to router and uh, here they post to router all these things. How we do the protocol. So see I will show you what is the uh, application of this each and every series. So here the physical layer is going to be the present. So this side we have so these are the functionalities. Please, please remember, we have, remember whenever we have to talk about OSI layer, that is the So physical layer is going to be uh, meaning of representation of it. Data link layer is about uh, uh, frames. Network layer is going to be the packets. We will have the remaining three layers. Is going to be talked about the data. So how the data is going to be created through the form post office protocol and DNS send it is your name and mail transfer protocol and So whatever it any applications that are going to be used to create the data and the data is going to be transferred. See that post layers and then media layers how we are going to be transferred. So in between the transport layer is going to be taken user. So see that ATP and UDP transmission control protocol or user data. One is a uh, uh, connection oriented, another one is connection. Yes, anything we are going to use and we are going to uh, change the data. So that is the, uh, how we are going to be connected to one system. In the types of services, uh, application in level gateway is also called a proxy server. It is also called a proxy server. So, proxy server means when, uh, for example, where we can find this proxy server, can anyone? Can anyone then? Whenever you are going to be unable to access your internet, something problem, so please change your proxy server. Anyone saw this proxy server? Where it is available? Can anyone say that? If not, I will show you. If you know, I will drop to you. Delta Telegram. Proxy server account. Manibab. Hello. Matelisa Telegram. Proxy server account. Number 24, 49. I have to participate. Delta Telegram. Hello. So it is available in the application term. Which applications we talk about? So for example, mailing service. Where we are going to do the mail service? We are going to be doing browser. See that in the browser we have the uh, so that settings, the browser is going to be your settings. We will find my proxy servers. So, privacy and security. So, uh, we talk about now. Certificates. So these are the uh -huh. managing certificates. How it is certificates managed? We manage the GDPR, SSL, certificate setting, advanced protection, managing security keys. So see that reset the security pins and PAT pins. So once again, proxy settings. Open your computer proxy settings. See this? So whenever we are going to be connected to the internet, how we are going to be connected? So through the LAN connection or whatever. So how you will see, see this? So proxy settings is going to be enabled with the application level. The browser is an application. 
where we are going to be create or we are going to be get uh, request send request or uh, reply back all those things. So that is a process of things are happening in the browser application level. Thank you. 